You want to learn how to get shifty like this? How about like this? The option look. Quick toss. Bulls his way forward. That's he's got space. Oh. Or how about this one? All right, if you guys want to learn how to do all of that stuff, here's my best tips for you when it comes to running the ball, breaking tackles, what spin moves or juke moves or how to move. Uh, I'm going to go over all of that here, so don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope this helps you all get a little shifty, learn how to break tackles. This is going to work for both users and it's going to work for the AI. Right now I'm doing it in the mini games, and this is the best place to practice is in the mini games here. Uh, you can just do the rushing attack. There's three different ones you can use, but it just... You can practice against multiple different levels here. And I got just Ole Miss, Virginia Tech here just lined up. Pretty much even teams. And uh, yeah, so my first big tip I'm going to say to you when running the ball is don't be too quick to hit R2 or right trigger, whatever whatever controller you're using. The faster you hit R2 is the faster your guy's going to get to the line and it's not going to give you enough space to make any of these moves. So... If you're just running in there and you hit R2 too fast, you just get to the people too quickly. But if you don't hit it and you just are a little bit laxed on it, you have more space. You let your lead blocker get in front of you a little bit. You'll have more space to actually do these moves. You can see I'm a little bit slower here, and then I can just cut in and out, and then I can get right around people rather than the first one, which is I was like right up his butt, and I wasn't able to get around. All right. Now, second tip. So first tip was just don't be so quick to use right trigger use it as a getaway like the once you're out in the open and you do your move and you want it to just you want to run faster that's when you use it don't be so quick to use it in the beginning because it's not going to help you out you're not going to be able to be as shifty you're going to be way too close to your blockers you're not going to have enough room so second tip here right if you have a blocker in front of you or anyone in front of you, if you're just trying to break down a defender, you want to set them up, right? So if you want to get to the outside, you don't want to just start running to the outside. You actually want to do the opposite. You want to start running to their other side, and then you can break to the outside. So in this situation, say I want to get to the outside. I'm actually going to run to the defender's their left shoulder, but it would be the right side of my blocker here. So I'm going to run right, and then you kick it out left. And just remember, I'm not using the sprint yet. I use the sprint as the getaway after I've done my move. That's when I use it. So we're going to run inside, and then you just bounce it outside there. So you got you to gotta kind of track them in, pull them in, and then you bounce it out. All right? And I haven't used any of the actual uh, juke moves yet. We're going to get to that in a second. But this is all just pure left stick. No sprint, left stick. Once I break free is when I when I engage the right stick. I mean, not the right stick, the right trigger. All right, so in this one here, this is going to be the double cross. So if you want to get real shifty with it, you want to go left, right, left, right. So I actually like doing a juke move without even using the juke move. You just go left, right really fast. So it's just going to be quick left and then right. So I'm going to go left, right, and you're going to see it right here. So it's left, right. And then you're out. So you see I pulled them in and then it come in, came back in. So let's do it do it on the wide side here. So we're just right, left, right, left, right. You see how it just gives like a quick little stutter? Ready, go. Left, right, boom. You see how it just gave them that extra step, and then you can kind of sprint away. Boom. Left, right, boom. It kind of traps them back there, and that's what you want to do. So when you do the juke moves, right, like they're a little bit of a bigger bigger hop step. You kind of, you go way out of the line. You're not as efficient when it comes to that. But if you just do that quick left, right, you can just be boom, boom, and then they stop, and then you're around them. And it's really good against users. It's really good against users. Users are usually moving way too fast for their own good. Now, we're going to do the same. Now, we're still going to apply the same things. I think the spin move is the best one you can use. Now, just note there's two different spin moves, right? This is no right trigger. It's just you're pretty much spinning in a circle. No right trigger there. And then if you use the right trigger on this one, you're going to see here 
It's just a bigger one. And that's the one that I actually recommend using. I always, if you're going to use a spin move, I always recommend using the right trigger spin move because it gets you away from people. It gets you way away from people. So that's something that I would recommend. If you're going to do the juke move, like I said, the juke move, there's a small one like there. You can't really get free when it comes to it. And then if you did the bigger one, you can see you got a little bit more of a hop if you were trying to just bounce it out quickly. But I think the spin move is the best one to use. So just remember, when you're doing these, you still want to use the same principles. You still want to be not so, you want to be patient when using the right trigger. When you're using one of these actual moves, you actually want to use the right trigger right before you do the move. And then you also want to set the defender up. So you want to run inside and then you want to like run into the into the middle of the field here and then we're going to we're going to spin it back out. So we're going to run inside and then we're spinned out. And now we're out and now we're free. So I know there's two other moves, right? So there's the truck stick, but I highly don't recommend truck stick because you'll see uh you kind of just in college unless you have a really big powering back, you're not really going to break free when it comes to the truck stick. You're not going to really be shifty. And then there's the jump. So there's the, the wire, the triangle jump, but I don't like the wire triangle jump simply because they fumble the ball a lot. Um, and you kind of get into this really slow animation. You're not as quick when it becomes, when it comes to it and you, you really risk fumbling the ball. So it's really not worth it unless you're maybe on the goal line. And then uh, lastly, there's the, um, just step back. The only time that that's really good is if someone's trying to run ahead of you and you're just trying to slow down a little bit. You use right stick and then you just kind of high step it down there and then you pull down on the right, R, hold R2 and then you pull down on the right stick. So it's just, it's just, you just do like a little bit of a high step. It's a, it's an okay move, but that's really not the one. So like, let's just recap here. Don't be so fast to hit R2. Be patient with it. Your guy's going to get up to speed no matter what. The second thing, set your person up. Run inside to outside. Run outside to inside. Don't just run straight and then try to juke people. And then the most important one is the best juke move sometimes is just the left stick. Be really quick in and out. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Left, right. And then you're out. You don't actually need a juke move a lot of the times. You can just be left, right, in and out. But if you did want to use one, I highly recommend I think that's hands down the best one, uh, the spin move. If you're going to do any juke move or you could do a, a hop out there like that. But those are, those are the best ones that I got for you. I hope this helped you guys learn a little bit about how to break tackles, how to be a little bit more shifty, how to hit those big home runs. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll catch you guys later. Appreciate you.